thank you, uh, and good afternoon, commissioners and staff and, and others. My name is Harry Baker. I am the Retirement Security Committee Chair for SEIU Local 1021. Uh, 1021 represents uh, 54,000 uh, members, uh, that is, uh, workers in Northern California, and represents the, uh, uh, the it's the largest union representing active SFERS uh, members. And of course, uh, of the retirees, many of them came from 1021 and our legacy locals 535, which was social workers and 250 healthcare workers and 790. Um, I am an SFERS member, uh, uh, and I work in the Mayor's Office of Housing, uh, a block from here. Uh, and uh, I will be transitioning from active membership in SFERS to retired by the end of this month, after 35 years with the city. Um, my concern, and the reason that I'm here, is that uh, as you know, uh, uh, a resolution was to have been calendared for this meeting. It was presented by at least one commissioner, possibly two. Um, we, we hoped that it would be here and we would be able to, to speak to that resolution today. Um, as you know, uh, in 2012, July, just around nine months ago, uh, Wells Fargo paid $175 million, uh, settled <coughs> without dispute, uh, fine brought by the Department of Justice, the U.S. Department of Justice, for racially discriminatory uh, mortgage lending practices that affected more than 30,000 persons. The, the proposed uh, SFERS resolution would have sent representatives of this board to the Wells Fargo shareholder board meeting in April to point out the terrible harm done to SFERS uh, members active and retired who have lost their homes or are in foreclosure. And the resolution would have those representatives of SEFERS -E at the Wells Fargo board meeting demand remedies to make those people whole. SFERS, of course, has access to the Wells Fargo shareholder and stock meeting because it has $50 million invested in Wells Fargo common stock. My union, SEIU 1021, uh, on political matters oper operates through its COPE committees, COPE, that's Committee on Political Education, and uh, those are organized by county. And we discussed the resolution starting in San Francisco, then in Oakland, Sonoma, uh, Solano, the BART chapter discussed it. It was discussed and voted on all the way up to Del Norte, just south of the Oregon border. And and the votes on all of those were unanimously in support of this resolution. Our local also spoke uh, Monday evening uh, at the Labor Council to this resolution and asked that it be agendized uh, to be discussed and voted on uh, ahead of the April uh, meeting of this board. Uh, and we were well received. Um, and so at this point, you know, the bottom line is that we really are perplexed. We, we have tried for three months to catch this board's attention and uh, admittedly the, the resolution was really just introduced a few weeks ago, but please let us get on to the uh, April agenda and let us meet with staff next week uh, to work out the details, look at the language, uh, figure out what we need to do with the process. Uh, to, to make this happen. Thank you very much for your time.